Okay, I want an updated search of the properties acquired by the Russians. Yes, I shall eagerly oblige. But okay, I want to know. I, I want to know about shipments, offloadings, any activity in the harbor and on the docks. Yeah, it shall be ascertained posting, including all warehouse activity. That, okay, that was un understood. But may I explain? <sighs> Mr. Nocturnal Sojourn is easily... Tell me that blank look on your face. You're not very happy about this, but you're never really happy about anything, so I won't take it personally. Well, she, she had a mild contretemps. I'm not going to be here that long anyway. Besides, you have a really good guest room that's not being used, so it's not like I'm inconveniencing anyone. I, I was trying to offer gentlemanly assistance in her... Have you slept on that mattress? It's very comfortable. I need to look at the tags, so maybe I could buy the same brand. If I could get the proverbial word in edgewise here... Sure, but is there fruit or yogurt I could have for breakfast? Yeah, I, I shall scour the kitchen. Maxie can't stay with us. You need to leave today. I stayed here before. You know I'm a pleasant house guest. Yeah, Stone Cold did not intend to be harsh. I don't want what happened to Jake to happen to you. Oh my gosh, that's probably why you're being like this because of what you just went through with Jake. Yeah, I'm but sorry. Stone Cold is being burdened with undeserved guilt. You saved little Jake. Yeah, that's the good news. He he's okay. Uh, the danger is over. No, it isn't. You don't have a problem with Spinelli staying here. Actually, Stone Cold has frequently expressed concern, but I, I choose to remain so I can assist in providing safety for all. I feel safe with you, Spinelli. I feel safe with you, too, even though you're not the warmest well, you, you don't think I listen to you when you babble on about fashion and all the stuff you want to do? You're not going to be able to do any of it if you catch a bullet. You sound like Mac. Mac is right. I wouldn't want my child anywhere near someone like me. Good. I just interviewed the victim, so I'll be back in the office in about 30 minutes. Hi. I, um, I called your office. They said you'd be here. So, uh, it might be a little less awkward if you had left a message. I know, uh, I know, but I, I really thought that we needed to do this face to face. Oh. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I heard about Jake Spencer's rescue. Yeah, um, I'm just, gosh, so much happened. I'm just grateful that he's good. Are you not fear about the rescue? No, I'm not. I'm not. I know it's just been a really long time since we've talked, and I thought maybe there's a lot of things that we need to discuss, and I'm sure you're looking for an explanation for what happened with Jerry. That'd be kind of good. So Jerry's plan was to blow up the freighter with me on board to cover his disappearance. Thankfully, Jason showed up in time and freed me. Where was Jerry the last time that you saw him? He was tangled in some sort of fishing line. Jason and I, we jumped overboard right as the ship exploded. Is there any chance that he could have survived? Oh, I just, no, I mean, I, I highly doubt it. Literally, we jumped off and the whole entire thing exploded. I am so grateful that you are all right. Thank you. Jerry did mention you a couple of times, and for what it's worth, I just, I really do think that there's he cares no need about for you, you to I, say anything. I'm of just, that. I'm it trying, matter. I know, but I just kind of have a feeling that that's why he left. I don't think he wanted to get too involved. That's a lovely interpretation. But the truth is, he was working me, I was working him, and there's no amount of rationalization that will make me feel any less horrible about any of this. Now, the charges against you about the drugs being in your apartment are, of course, being dropped. Wow. Really? Thank you. I was never going to let him do it anyway. I have to get back to the office. Wait. Wait, hold on. Um, oh, I'm just, I'm so, I... I'm really sorry for all the pain, everything. I, I could have handled this a lot better myself. Everything looks so much clearer in hindsight, doesn't it? Uh, in mere moments, Stone Cold shall be privy to the Slavic seductress's whereabouts. Meanwhile, Fair Maximista, who is unaware that you are the parental unit to little Jake, has left the premises. I'm sorry, Spinelli. I know you, you wanted her to stay. Uh, yes, of course, I, I, I long to be close to Maximista, but not at the risk of her fair person and... No doubt Stone Cold applies a similar rationale to that of Fair Elizabeth and young Jake. 
Last night, Jake was a hostage. And I decided the best way to get him out was to go and shoot him. Yeah, but your reasoning was undoubtedly correct. Your actions saved him. I triggered an explosion. Sam didn't dive out the window with Jake in her arms. He would be dead. The Jackal's search indicates that Sasha Donov may still be in the country. There are no records of her passing through customs, crossing the border. The Russians were soundly defeated by Fair Samantha and Stone Cold, so why would she choose to remain? She'd stay if she was ordered to stay. But to what end? Surely the Sinister Syndicate realizes their efforts to gain ground have been crushed. No, but they've invested way too much to pull out right now, so that means they're going to have to make it even more expensive for them to stay here. And by expensive, does Stone Cold mean cost in terms of... Go upstairs and change. You have an appointment to be questioned by the federal government. Wire transfer go through. It went this morning. What about the paper one? Backdated and filed. <sighs> okay. This has got to be clean. Diane, completely untraceable. There is nothing to link you to the house or the money. Legally, everything came from Emily. Good. Now we need to set up a meeting. Okay. We're just... What? If we could just table this discussion for a moment and focus on the matter at hand. You are about to be questioned by a federal agent regarding an assault on a certain roadhouse in which you exhibited a blatant disregard for the law. They, they had Jake. What do you want me to do? I had to get him out. Could have called the police? Call, come on, Diane. Call the police. I can't risk Jake getting caught in the middle okay, of a stand -off. I'm sure you had the best of intentions, Jason. In fact, you were probably right. But let's look at this in context, shall we? The feds have been after you for God knows how many years, and now they finally have evidence that you assaulted an occupied building with guns blazing. <clears throat> and last count, from what I understand, from the explosion and the shootout, the body count was, uh, I think, at least four Okay. Men. So what do you advise? Your regular stonewalling techniques are out of the question. It will be seen as arrogance, and contempt for the law. So, for once in your life, you are going to tell the authorities exactly what happened and why. I'm going to go in and have a preliminary meeting with the federal agent. You just sit right there and don't shoot anyone. <laughs> 